game is called Inversion. I ain't fucking around. Let's check in on graphic options. It's another mediocre offering. Poo. Smell that? I smell a council port. Let's fire this fucker up. I could live within the specter of death if it meant leaving behind a legacy. I'll start off with the story first. It's been a long time since I've been drawn into a game, but I'm kind of pulled in here because of all the what the fuck is going on. You'll start out by seeing yourself captured, then flash back to what happened to get you captured. We've seen this sort of thing done now around 567,912 times, though I may be off by one or two. Anyways, you're an officer, and shit goes down, gravity goes all fucked up, and you're shooting these gears of war looking types while trying to get home to your wife. Ah, but she's killed. And we're not sure yet what happened to your daughter, which kind of really ticks your character off. The story is neat, reminds me of a movie called Battlefield Earth, yet I've no idea why. So you get captured, but do I really need to explain more? I think you kind of guess where it goes from there. the game is, it's okay. It's using a lot of physics though I'm not sure which engine it's running. Textures are subpar but landscapes give you the feeling of a wide open area. It's not a real taxing game on my system as I can hit over 30 frames a second at any given point. Lighting in the game is done very well, it actually impressed me. Shadows could have been bumped up with a little more detail though. I like the light on the first boss here which blinded you as you fought it. Animations are, well, they are shit. Camera movements in cutscenes are amateurish and stiff. It takes away from the game. It's just way too linear when the camera moves, it goes from point A to B with no smoothing. The character animations of the main characters could have been better as well. I kind of feel like the game was rushed in this department. As I've said before about sound, when I turn my speakers on, sound comes out. It's nothing extra and gets the job done. Nothing epic. Gameplay is, well, it's too bad really because this game had some serious potential. I think the controls could have used some polish. When I move the mouse, it's almost like I'm snapping to a grid. I couldn't find any mouse smoothing options. Also, the default mouse speed is way too fast and I had to set it back some. The gravity effect, however, is amazing. But we've seen this, well, sorta, in games like Dead Space and Mass Effect. You'll also get a few different weapons in game, but you'll always fall back on that gravity weapon. They did a few neat scenes in this game using the gravity effect, one of which was in the building before you first got captured. Shit was floating around and it looked pretty neat. I think that's pretty well much the gist of the game. It's nothing extra, but it don't suck either. I'm also introducing a value category in this video. Whatever Canadian price I put there is what I think the game is worth. I've also put up a new review on a PS3 game with my drummer Steve Simmons on my other channel. There's some special effects in this one if you're interested. Well, this is DTR fucktards. Communicate laters. Arrgh.